Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After, etc. And welcome back to another resin video. So if you are here from the Cricut Craft Fest, hi, so glad you're here to join me. Today, we are going to be pouring a resin piggy bank, but it's a whale. There is a piggy version. This came in a four pack. So a whale, a hippo, an elephant, and your OG piggy piggy. Um, there is plenty of these. I will try to find the links um, that aren't in the four pack if you just want one. If you're just looking for the whale or for the pig, you can buy just that mold. Um, but today we are going to be pouring the whale. He is so cute. He's my favorite. I almost just got the whale, but I wanted to do the whole collection. So over at the Cricut Craft Fest, I show you one, two, three, the other three objects, objects, animals, um, and how to add the Cricut SVGs to the fronts. It is a set of eight SVGs, um, adventure fun, travel fun, cruise fun, all that fun stuff. I show you how to put them on. If you've never heard of the Cricut Craft Fest, it is a week long event. There are over 45 different fun Cricut tutorials. You can come join us for the week. It is completely free to hang out with us. Each day, a set number of projects go live. You can watch them, you can make them, you can share them with your friends. And then at the end of the day, they go away and a new set comes up the next day. If you want to hang on to all of the videos, of course, there's a VIP access pass that you can purchase. I will leave the link below. You have lifetime access to all 45 of the instruction tutorial projects the videos. So this is mine. However, in that video, while I show you how to pour the resin for the iridescent flake version, my little elephant, I also made this whale and he is full on beach wave, ocean wave, diffusion, diffusion, dispersion ink whale. Um, and it's a little bit more of a time consuming tutorial than a straight resin pour. And so today we are strictly going to be pouring this whale a la ocean wave style. I will show you all the steps, all the tips, all the tricks. And then again, if you want to catch those SVGs, you want to see how to add the Cricut versions, you can go over the Cricut Craft Fest. But today we are pouring resin, we are making waves. It's time for a whale of a time. Whale of a time, yep. That's what I meant to say. All right, y'all, so we are going to start by mixing our resin. I've already poured it into one of our mixing bowls, mixing cups. This is a thick set epoxy by Total Boat, and it is a deep pour epoxy because I'm mixing several pieces, and I want to be bubble free. And you can make your pieces, um, any of these really with either the deep pour or maker epoxy, depending on how many layers you want to do. So if you are looking to do one layer, the thick set here that can be poured up to two inches deep at a time is perfect. If you don't mind doing two layers, then the maker epoxy, um, which is a one to one ratio is perfect. So this is a three to one ratio which means of the thousand liters I'm mixing, I did 750 of the A and 250 of the B. For the maker epoxy, which here's that, it is a one-to-one -one ratio, which means one part A, one part B, 50-50. Either way, we're going to mix our resin according to the instructions. So for thick set, that is three minutes and one cup, three minutes in the next. Then we will add our colorants. All right, so after we've stirred for our full amount of time, we're gonna go ahead and separate some of this out. And you do wanna get it separated as soon as possible because the more that is together, um, the faster it will cure. 
Smaller amounts cure slower. So we're gonna use our heat gun. You can use a torch or a heat gun, but with silicone molds, silicone cups, a torch will burn your pieces, so a heat gun is safe. It will not melt your molds. All right, ready for our last layer. We've got some clear here. We're going to fill this baby up with resin, and then we are going to add our dispersion pigment, which I will show you um, will make our waves so that this guy can be a beach scene. So we are going to start by pouring our resin, filling this baby in. We'll see, I made about 100 milliliters. I'm not sure if that's going to be too much or not enough. Ooh, the wind today. That's always fun. I do need to do this little guy as well. Thank you. 
All right, I think that's good. So now that our clear is smoothed out, we've got most of the bubbles out, we're gonna go ahead and add our dispersion pigment. So for this, you wanna be careful, a little goes a long way. Just get a little bit on the end of a popsicle stick or a stir stick, and we're gonna kind of draw on our waves. So the first one, it's gonna be back here in the deeper water. There we go. There we go. All right, so now we just blow that with our heat gun. Keep going. You can keep playing with it until you like it, but 
the more you do, the more they'll react. And then when you leave them alone, they will continue to react. So there is a certain amount with resin that you just have to be okay with. Resin is going to do its own thing. At this point, I'm probably going to leave it. We'll see how it looks when it's cured, but I'm liking all the wispiness of the waves. I just want these to go backwards a little bit. We'll leave that alone. You can always do another layer over top, but I want this to just look very crashy waves since we're going to do our decal right over the top of it. See when it's cured. So as always, we are going to start by peeling back our sides. This side is going to be a little hard because our connectors at the top and bottom here for the piggy bank portion make this half of the whale very short. So let's do the whale tail. Should be able to get this whole side off of him. Yeah. It looks pretty cool so far. And let's get this in between off. And you're basically just pulling the silicone back and introducing air everywhere that you can. The more air that you can put in between the silicone and the resin, the easier the silicone will come off until you have it fold it all the way back and now we're going to start on our interior portion and i find that it's easier to get as much inside fingers here and then to do the bottom spot first because it is larger so again, all we're going to do is introduce as much air to this area as possible. And then we're going to start to pull it back and out of this spot. There we go. Ooh. Because this is a thick set resin, it takes seven days to fully cure. So where this is pulling, it's because it is dry, but it is not fully set in place. Once we get these out of their mold, I'll lay them flat in the proper shape and it will harden, fully harden in this position. The rest of these didn't do that, so I'm not 100% sure why this one is so much, but it could just be the mix of resin for this piece. Again, there we go, as it cures, it won't be a big deal. Oh, it's so cute. All right, I don't know which side I like better, so let's put our bottom piece in, which is gonna be hard, but this will give us a good indicator. Probably put some rubber bands around them to let them cure. Fully harden. 
He needs to be all the way in here to be in the proper position. I love the waves. I was really worried because they uh, they really molded together way more than I'm used to. Usually they're more separate, but they're so cute. That turned out so pretty. I don't know which side I like better, the sand and the ocean with the waves in the background or the full waves. We'll let it cure and then we'll decide. And our whale is going to be cruise fund because obviously he's for a cruise. So if you want to check that out, I am actually doing that as part of our Cricut Craft Fest. Myself and 44 other fabulous cricketers are sharing fun tutorials for beginners to advanced level cricketers. If you want to check that out, you can come hang out with us. It is free for the week or you can buy a VIP pass for lifetime access to all of the classes. Um, so I'm going to go do all of my cricketing and then I will be back um, and I will show you the finished results so that you can decide if you like it. I know I'm gonna like it because I already like these. They're so cute. They're so cute. All right, be back. All right, y'all. I hope you loved this tutorial. I love how the whale turned out. I think he is so cute. I want to make even more of them. The best part of ocean waves, and you can add them to anything, not just whale silicone piggy banks. My dogs are having so much fun. I hope you guys can hear me over them. Um, you can add ocean waves to everything. I've done shells. I've done um, a large picture window. I will leave links to all of those down below so that you can go get some more inspiration. In the meantime, let's head back over to the Cricut Craft Fest so that you can find the SVGs for the front of this baby. After the Cricut Craft Fest is over, I will eventually be able to list those files down in the description, um, but you can feel free to email me if you need help getting over the Cricut Craft Fest in the meantime. I will see y'all in the next video. I hope you had a fun time. Bye.